Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. On behalf of Hometown PAC, I'm going to be talking with the two candidates who are in a runoff for the Key West Utility Board. I'll start things off with candidate Tim Rutt. Tim, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you for having me, Jenna. I really do appreciate it. All right, Tim, why don't you start by telling our viewers what things in your background have prepared you to run for this particular board? Well, um, I come from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I left about 26 years ago. I've been here in Key West, and uh, my father was a community servant from day one, as early as I could remember, um, on the planning board, deacon of the church, Lions Club, and uh, it moved a mentor in front of me that I couldn't move away. And uh, I came to Key West and uh, got started in the Hark Board back in early 2000. And uh, I've been on the planning board as assistant chairman now for the past eight years. And I uh, think I can make a difference. I uh, feel like the planning board has, has taught me a lot about uh, protocol and, and government. And I've got to meet a lot of our government officials. And uh, my background in construction and infrastructure and electrical work, a lot of design building with contractors and architects and engineers uh, has prepared me for this challenge and I'm trying to take it on right now. Great. Now, Tim, what do you think that a Keys Energy candidate needs to know prior to the election? Well, to be a, a candidate for the utility board, um, we, we are absolutely more like a board of directors running a company and this company is a, a, a very big company owned by the city of Key West and our responsibilities are not to micromanage the company but lead it in the right direction and I think that uh, background should be somewhat qualified in uh, running a business as, I, as we do in my construction business understanding uh, productivity and trying to uh, run a company efficiently and uh, the overall budget and finances and the big question of nowadays is labor force. Mm -hmm. Tim, what do you feel are the major issues that are facing Keys Energy to this day? Uh, right now, it's, it, it's the constant uh, threat of hurricanes, obviously, we all see, and we all need to harden the infrastructure as much as we can. Keys Energy has been doing a great job, and we're advancing in new technologies and hardening the system with concrete poles and new transforming stations and new ways to generate electricity and get it here more efficiently. What is your opinion on charging a surcharge if you use your credit card to pay for a Keys Energy mm -hmm. bill? Uh, believe it or not, already people are emailing me and texting me and, and showing me their electric bills and we have a customer service charge and we have uh, the, as you say, the credit card charge and it's not on your bill but if you use your credit card uh, I believe that you're paying a bill ahead of time and or on time, so you're getting rid of collection fees. You're cutting back on a, accounting. Uh, obviously, I can't change that myself. It takes a board, but uh, that will be one of my things on the platform to really investigate and see what we can do about it because it is a large sum of money. Cost is always a top priority. So what would be some of your plans to help reduce costs of the operation? And reducing cost in, in, in operations of Keys Energy is not only up to this board uh, by helping in purchasing materials at, at right times, uh, uh, opportune moments when things happen, but the big thing is the, is, is the consumer and, and getting them aware of how we are run with the Florida Municipal Power Association and that our rates are based on peak hours and off-peak hours. And if we watch our carbon footprint and we try to uh, use our washers and dryers and dishwashers in the evening instead of during peak times, uh, we all save money. And it's constantly the budget of employment and workforce and labor that we have to constantly look at and make sure it's running efficient and to save money and take care of the ratepayers. Is there anything else you would like our viewers to know this morning, Tim? Um, I, I would really like to say thank you for uh, putting me in the position I'm in. 40% of the vote was uh, very gracious. Uh, the confidence vote that the cities and citizens of Key West have given me is great, but uh, it's not over yet. And uh, we need to get everyone out to vote. That uh, ballot has two names on it, Tim Root and Vidal, and it's gonna be hard for people to really wanna come out and, and vote, but uh, your vote counts. It's very decisive this time. And again, thank you so much, uh, citizens of Key West, and. I will faithfully serve you and the citizens of the Lower Keys if elected.
Great. Well, thank you so much for being on this morning, Tim. It's been a pleasure talking with you, and when I return from these messages, I'll be talking with the second candidate for the Keys Utility Board. Stay with me.